mouse. That's what Google Earth users have been doing for years. But now the folks at Google and the Space Telescope Science Institute have teamed up to give you not just the world, but the universe. I think we felt there was a gigantic void in terms of how uh, generally the public perceive space. Sky Google Earth is an application that uh, allows uh, anyone really to browse uh, Earth uh, sky data like you are allowed to do when you have Earth data. Using imagery from observatories on Earth and stunning photographs taken by the Hubble Space Telescope, everyone from curiosity seekers to astronomers can take a closer look at worlds only seen through the eyes of Hubble. In particular places of the sky, there's just this exquisite resolution. So it's like having, you know, a brand new camera with just amazing resolution. Learning to navigate the sky will be no more difficult than the way you already globetrot with your computer. Future upgrades to Sky and Google Earth may even let amateur astronomers add their own images. Space is already a wow factor in itself because when you see these beautiful images from Hubble, but then we're going to give you a, a, different, a different perspective. There was no way to really browse this gigantic amount of data that is available out there on the Internet other than still pictures. Zoom in and out of your desktop universe and you'll see high-resolution Hubble images, along with the names of some of their celestial neighbors. And if you're interested in learning about a particular object in the sky, type in its name and Google takes you there. Our goal at the beginning was, let's take this client and have it on every 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 kid's desktop. It's just easy. You don't need an instruction booklet. You don't need to take a course. You just load up the software and away you go. On a journey to galaxies that we know about and those that have yet to be discovered. From the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, I'm Mary Estacion.